Hi there everybody, it's Jo here and I hope that wherever you are, I hope that you're safe and well. I was just thinking, I really need to change my intro line but I'm just going to go with it. So another week, another video. For me, lunch break here at, at work because we're still surrounded by boxes at home but it's getting better so I should be able to do some videos at home next week. So what I wanted to talk about this week is how some of you may be finding it easy, alternatively might be struggling with regards to home learning, online learning, remote learning, homeschooling, whatever you call it. And I just wanted to, to kind of acknowledge that for some of us it's going to take us time to adapt and like everything, you know, it, it takes us time to, to find a new normal, a new routine. So I've just got some top tips that I want you to, to at least consider, maybe even implement or at least try. The only thing that I say about home learning and, and online learning is that what we're asking you to do is, is quite a challenge. And it's just like that for your teachers too. But what we're asking you to do is that place called school, whether you liked it or not, was where you would go, you would study, you would do what you needed to do, you'd get to see your friends as well, and you'd go home. In the worst case scenario, you might have some homework that you'd need to do at home or some revision that you'd need to do at home. But you'd be in a position where you could really differentiate home and school. So what we're asking from you now is quite a big thing, which is to introduce that, that school into your home life. And your home is hopefully your safe place, is your relaxing place, is your chill out place. So as you can imagine, it's going to take time. It's going to take a few alterations to get you to have that influence of being at home, needing to do some schoolwork Monday to Friday. So it's OK if it is a struggle right now because it is change. And one thing about us humans is that we're not very good with change. We, we literally will process it when, and when we need to. So what I'd like you to consider is a routine. Routines are really, really important. And I, I don't think we give them enough credit sometimes. Now, what I'd love for you to consider at least is to wake up at the same time Monday to Friday. That will give you a really good difference between the weekend of when there's no alarm and you can just sleep in. I'd also want you to consider about the importance of making sure that you have a break and lunch time and also scheduling in that downtime. If you're somebody that is working too hard and not sure when to stop, then that's the beauty about the, the having a, a timetable, having this routine, is that at least you can schedule in that downtime. I'd also want you to be in a position where you would consider having the difference between your day with having to do online learning or independent learning compared to having time where you can chill out. And maybe the difference there might be, it might sound silly now, but it might be wearing a particular top. So you know that at the moment I'll get in my comfy clothes once I've, I've finished my schoolwork. It might be placing your mobile phone in a specific place, out of sight, out of mind, that you know that right now I need to do my schoolwork and then at break, lunch, after school, then I'll have my phone back. So it's just thinking about what can you introduce to make sure that there's a real difference between home and doing your homeschool. And like I say, it's going to take time. It's going to take time to adjust to. Another tip that I want you to consider is that each and every one of us, we, we're all different. And what we're having to do is... For some of us, we've got these live lessons, and I'm a fan of live lessons. I know they might be really tiring, but it gives you structure to your day, and it kind of gives you that sense of purpose to wake up and get dressed. And I always recommend that, by the way, getting dressed. Even if it's from your PJs to your comfy clothes, just getting dressed, making that transition. But what I want you to bear in mind is that we work differently. Some people, if it's that kind of, this is the work that you need to do, they might find it easier doing it all in one go. Other people, it might be little and often. So don't compare yourself to your friends or to any other family members that may be kind of having to study at home. Is It's just unique to each and every one of us. And I think sometimes 
that's the biggest thing is that we're all different. One of my other things is to make sure that if you are struggling, whether that's with regards to your academic work or whether that's with regards to, to your emotions, please let your teacher know. Because instead of you going kind of off radar or radio silent, is it's better to let your teacher know that you're struggling with regards to the academic work. Because then they can help you. Then they can support you. If you're kind of not replying to their emails or if you're just not answering any calls from school, then they're not going to know and they're not going to be able to help you. So make sure that if there is any chance that you're feeling overwhelmed, you can't keep up, that you're worried that your work isn't good enough, let them know. And maybe you could do the same with home because if you are struggling, your parents and carers will know because of your attitude or you may be being a bit sassy or a bit snappy and angry. So maybe just let them know and even if that's sending them a message, even if that's um, a post-it note, whatever it might be, it's just making sure that there's that communication. Because it is tough times. It doesn't mean that we can't get through it because we've already nailed a week of it already. But it's just taking, and this is, this is what I'm doing, is that I'm just taking it each day at a time. That's my biggest advice. My final point that I just want you to think about is your workspace. When you are at home and you're, you're, you're having to do this schoolwork at home, just make sure that that space is well lit because if not, you're squinting and you're going to get tired eyes. But also make sure that there's this sense of it being organised. And if you can, if, certainly if it's in your bedroom, make sure that when it's break and, and lunchtime that you really do leave your room and have a break away from that space. And it's a bit like revision. With revision, we need to experiment and explore where's the best working environment for, for us to do our work. So try it in your bedroom. Maybe try it downstairs. Maybe try it in a different room. And just see what works best for you. And it's just that experimenting, just like it is with revision. So yeah, if you are working in your bedroom, just see when it is that downtime that I'm asking you to do after school, after you know, you've know you completed all your work, just make sure if you can really try and put away some of your, your schoolwork, most definitely on a Friday night, just so then you've got that sense of, ah, oh, I deserve this time. And also what you might want to consider is always delaying your rewards. So don't think, oh, I'll do this, I'll, I'll go on the, a gaming device or I'll go on my phone and then I'll do my work. There's a different video I did about self-discipline. That's a good one. Um, and it's in that video, it's about delaying the reward. So do the work, get it done, and then have the reward. So yeah. Anyway, you carry on looking after yourselves, looking after one another, staying in contact with your friends and family. And I look forward to doing a video next week, hopefully back at home. See you later, everybody. Bye.